four years and 42 games. That's how long it's been since the Logan County Cougars have won a football game. As if his legend wasn't already full enough, in a game against the University of Dayton in 1968, Coach Tittle stood up on the media table to lead the student section in chants. When a Dayton sports writer told him he couldn't be up there, he said these words. What do you mean I can't be up here? This is my dang gym. Of course it is, and it always will be. Well, took a road trip to Boca Raton, Florida this weekend as the football team faced off with the Florida Atlantic Owls. Regardless of whether she wins or not, Taylor has already created a walk up to remember. Warren East came into this game looking to win their first game since 2014 at the Touch at Western Kentucky University. The Lady Topper volleyball team improved their record to 24 and 2 on the season after a pair of road victories this weekend. This group of seniors is the second winningest group in school history with 35 victories. The only group with more, the class of 2004, with 38. Reporting for the Extra Point, I'm Tyler Poe. Four years and 42 games. That's how long it's been since the Logan County Cougars have won a football game. But that all changed tonight here at Todd County Central. The Cougars got out fast, taking the lead 13-7 over the Rebels on this run by tailback Greg Hardy. Hardy finished his night with 97 yards and a score. Full throttle execution was the key for the Cougars. We finally came together as a team, played all four quarters. You know, we came out a little bit rough on the second half, but we picked each other up and accomplished it. The points came from everywhere in this one. Tyler Ezel had himself a great game throwing the ball with plays just like this one where he connects with Lorenzo Garcia for one of his three touchdowns. Now what caused this explosion of points? Uh, just executing our plays, doing our jobs. Even with the game out of reach late in the fourth quarter, the offense was still rolling as Ezel found his receiver in the end zone for another score to make it a 56-27 victory. Coach Adler, what does this feel like? Like a thousand pounds is lifted off my back, you know. It's and that's the it's the crazy thing about it. These kids have fought all year long. Um, we've got better and better and better each week. We just hadn't had a chance to capitalize. And tonight, that was our motive. Hey, let's keep our foot on the pedal for four quarters, and let's see what happens. And you know, we had a lot of big defensive plays. We had a a, a lot of big offensive plays, and the kids built confidence off of that, and, and we kept going. And there you have it, a 56-27 victory over the Todd County Central Rebels. Reporting for the Extra Point, I'm Tyler Poe. For 42 years, Edgar Allen Diddle patrolled the campus of Western Kentucky University. He was hired by President Henry Hardin Cherry to be the athletic director and coach for all sports on campus. Thus began one of the greatest college athletics coaching careers of all time. Yeah, of all my life, that's all I wanted to do. It's all I'd ever thought about and all I ever dreamed of was to be a coach. That dream turned into the first coach to be at the helm of 1,000 games at one school, topping out at exactly 1,061 games. And at the time of his retirement in 1964, he led the NCAA in wins with 759 victories. Current WKU president Dr. Gary Ransell embraces the impact Mr. Diddle had on WKU athletics. He is responsible for an awful lot of our athletic spirit, our, our athletic confidence, uh, our performance, our high, our high expectations, uh, and uh, that's pretty rare for a university to have that in its history, and we do, as we should, treasure that. While Coach Diddle brought Hilltopper Athletics into the limelight, it was his famous towel that became the symbol of WKU Athletics. I changed to red because of our school colors are red, and we changed our white towels in the physical education department to red towels in order that we'd know our towels from any student's towel. And that's how we got off on the red towel. When you have the same job for 42 years, it's tough to just leave without looking back. But for Mr. Diddle, he would gladly do it all over again. You know, there's something about it. Even after 40 years, it's still fascinating. And if I had mine to go over and had my choice, 
I'd still go right back in the coaching business. The biggest kick that I get from the kid is to know that I have trained him and he's gone out in the community or in the business or in the professionals, lawyers, doctors, dentists, preachers, coaches, and are successful and they are doing a great job for the community and the county and the state in which he resides. Coach left the WKU bench in 1964, but he never left Hilltopper basketball games. As if his legend wasn't already full enough, in a game against the University of Dayton in 1968, Coach Diddle stood up on the media table to lead the student section in chants. When a Dayton sports writer told him he couldn't be up there, he said these words, What do you mean I can't be up here? This is my dang gym. Of course it is, and it always will be. Reporting for The Extra Point, I'm Tyler Poe.